Not long ago, I did make a video about how to split a stereo track into two mono tracks. This situation normally comes up when you have a stereo USB interface and you've got your microphone on one side and a guitar or another instrument on the other channel and they end up being recorded as a stereo. Let me show an example that I've done recently. There we go, this should be a separate guitar and microphone. As you can see, my vocal will be at the top and my guitar... So that was the example. My vocals at the top and guitar sound at the bottom. Now how to split this? Now in my previous video, I do have to apologize. It was too lengthy. Yes, it did work, it did the job, but it was too lengthy. It's like when someone asks you how to make coffee, you send them all the way to Brazil to collect the beans. Again, I do apologize. This video, I will correct that. Now, to split this recorded clip into two mono tracks, it's quite easy. Go to your browser. Instead of the pool, you can see it's right there in your pool. Go to Files. Find where your project is. This is my example, Split Audio Demo. And then find under media the WAV file, which is this one here, main, main. Now you right click on it and say split to mono files. This will only work inside the files option. And now it split the main.wav file into main.l and main.r. I'm just going to select those two and drag it right there. So now I have my vocals on track two and my guitar separately on track three. I can now mute this one. Let's open the mixer. So my vocals. There we go. This should be a separate guitar and microphone. As you can see, my vocal. There we go. That's how you do it. Easy as that. And again, I do apologize for the lengthy version of the video that I did earlier, but that's what I knew before. Of course, that method would work with any DAW that doesn't have this um, split feature. And the split feature, again, is under Browser, Files, Find Your Project, under Media, and you'll find the WAV file that you want to split. You right-click, split it, and then drag the split files in to your project. Hope that solves your problem. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio guys.